Hello Generals! Welcome to the third episode of the Thailand series. A quick recap from the previous episodes. We started the game, we had uh, Vietnam, or we started as Thailand of course, we had Vietnam as our neighbor and this neighbor is a 177 level uh, player, very experienced, he denied twice to join our coalition and uh, he was preparing an invasion. We woke up and we found half of our country under the Vietnamese boot. Right now, uh, from uh, continuing from episode 2, we are trying to use our jet um, as a recon. Uh, we suspect that uh, in that city to the northwest of our country, he has uh, one of his uh, infantry, motorized infantry units. So we have a, radio, a ground radar contact uh, that we try to investigate with our jet and we suspect it is the artillery piece, the mobile artillery piece he has and uh, he's moving it from, for some reason. So if this is the case then uh, we made him make a serious mistake and uh, we will attack it with our jet as our jet cannot suffer any damage from the artillery and uh, we'll see how it goes. First of all, we have to be sure that it is the artillery piece on its own. This is the reason why I sent my motorized infantry since Myanmar is not active. I'm sending my motorized infantry in that uh, city just to see if the, uh, his infantry is still there. If it is, I will turn back. If it isn't, I will uh, capture it and uh, retake it, liberate it again. So, uh, now we know that uh, the time has progressed and we know that it is the artillery piece. He made the mistake. Um, in the meantime, our forces are about to uh, liberate uh, Bangkok, our ex-capital. So, uh, they are landing soon. Meanwhile, in the Paracel Islands, I took the Paracel Islands. Uh, if you remember, it's those islands that are rich in uh, rare resources, rare materials. And we continue to cause chaos to his cities. And we have uh, just uh, landed and uh, escaped from one of his cities. And now we are preparing to land in uh, Ho Chi Minh City so he cannot uh, produce any new units. Meanwhile, we are sending a recon vehicle with one motorized infantry to intercept the artillery piece. Uh, and at the same time, we are attacking it with our jet. I think our jet is going to be able to kill it, but just uh, to be sure, we sent uh, uh, the ground units as well to finish the job. And our jet is about to attack the artillery piece. I don't think uh, he will escape. His chances are really small. And after this uh, attack, um, we have to take a look at our city where our artillery piece is defending. And we can see that uh, um, Vietnam has moved his forces uh, back to the hospital, to that uh, uh, province to the east, where he has a field hospital and the uh, outpost. And I take advantage of this uh, break, let's say, and I send my unit, uh, one National Guard, to go and capture the province with uh, uh, electronics uh, are, uh, in order to try to keep my productions running. So, as we said many times up to now, we take advantage of any opportunity is, uh, that is presented to us. And we have confirmed that the, uh, this uh, northwestern city still has one uh, motorized infantry, a Vietnamese motorized, uh, motorized infantry in it. So we take our uh, our infantry away from there, no need to attack it uh, with that. We wait for Myanmar to come online and as we can see 
he's uh, within range of uh, his artillery. Let's hope he comes and he uh, listens to our advice. <laughs> So since we are even in losses and we know for sure that uh, he lost his uh, fighter jet, uh, we feel more confident um, to fly our jet around his cities uh, with uh, no threats uh, for it. And uh, we try to scout and see if he has any units left. By now we have destroyed his artillery piece and we are moving our uh, recon uh, vehicle with the infantry in the city with our usual technique in and out to cause chaos and then uh, my plan is to send it northwest to that rare material uh, province as well to deny him uh, access to those resources. Uh, from the looks of it he has only one unit in my uh, territory, in my homeland uh, provinces let's say, uh, that one to the south uh, so I will deal with it later on, we don't care about uh, gra Oh, and there we have a new contact. What is this? This is a, probably a recon vehicle with some infantry, it's a stack. Where is he going? He's going north. Hmm. He's going north, maybe he's afraid I will attack Hanoi? Maybe Hanoi. Hmm. Or he sends... Uh, to reinforce, but this is not the route. I think he got scared, which is really nice, meaning that he doesn't have any forces around uh, around those two cities. Eh? Maybe he has one. I don't know. This is a, a puzzle. I don't know. Quiz. Hmm. We have to see. Right now, I think he's. 50% uh, he's going to defend the cities I'm sending my uh, my recon vehicle and 50% he's going to save his capital he's afraid that I will attack it so right now the balance uh, of power is in our favor because he lost more units than us and uh, he cannot have uh, any productions meanwhile we have produced our first corvette and uh, it will be uh, taking part in the action as well uh, very very soon and as our jet flies around we have a ground contact yes it is another stack of his um, it is probably the stack that attacked our uh, city uh, with, the, with our artillery there he's healing there and we have another ground contact, uh, an infantry contact, which is juicy target for our corvette. So our corvette started participating in uh, the action and I will try to cause as much damage as I can to his uh, motorized infantry, maybe kill it, and then either land in his city or divert um, the infantry unit to another city. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet. And uh, our second Corvette by now is ready to. Uh, I bet uh, I made a bet on the Corvettes. We will see if it pays off because uh, it is fast, it is cheap, and uh, there are plenty of enemy and homeland uh, coastal cities. So we'll see if it pays off. By now, also Bangkok is back, uh, is liberated uh, by us. So we got uh, one more city. So just uh, one homeland city uh, still occupied by Vietnam. I think we're gonna take it back very soon. If uh, Myanmar was uh, here, it would be already ours. So now what I will try to do, since I feel more confident that I think that uh, he suffered more losses, I uh, move my, uh, my infantry inland in the territories, in the provinces of Vietnam uh, just to cause more chaos. Oh, there you have it. He's trying to save his city. Two motorized infantry, not in a stack. Okay, this is a race. Now, who's gonna get first to that city? Um, 
I don't want to have a fight with them. I just want to cause chaos and destroy his economy at this point. Um, I'm moving my units out. And we'll see how it goes. But with uh, these actions, we have reached the, the end uh, of this episode as well. I will catch you in the next episode. Bye for now.